the Prime Minister calls for an end to sick note culture and warns against over medicalising the everyday challenges and worries of life in a major speech on welfare reform later this morning. Rishi Sunak will say the focus must shift to what work people might be able to do amid government concerns some are being unnecessarily written off as sick and parked on welfare. Well, as you can see, Alicia Fitzgerald uh, is still with us. Uh, th this is a really fascinating announcement from the Prime Minister. He obviously thinks that there is, you know, enormous amounts of sort of political clout behind this, saying we need to get people off works, off benefit. I think 2.3 million people are in that situation. He thinks this is politically an important win. He definitely does, and it also is a very easy topic to create massive dividing lines between him and the Labour Party. I mean, this has very much been a Conservative ethos for a while now, and not just targeting benefits, but just this general idea of inaction, inactivity, people working from home too much when they shouldn't be. All of these things are something that the Conservative Party have really adopted in the run-up to the election. And I think the trouble is, is when you bring in any kind of target towards the welfare system or the benefit system, is you are bound to face some kind of backlash because people will always argue that there are people who do really need benefits and there are people who, who need to make the most of our generous benefit system that we do have in the UK. So Rishi see that choosing a bit more of a hard line and approach to benefits as we as we approach the election. The details of this are going to be interesting, aren't they? Because effectively, where GPs sign the sick notes or the the fit to work notes, mm. as they now called at the moment, they're going to take that away from GPs and they're going to outsource it to so-called specialists. Do we know what? those specialists, the qualifications those specialists have? Are they clinically, are they clinical professionals? We don't, and the the thing here is, as with lots of NHS kind of measures that Rishi Sunak is putting in place, is it all kind of stems to the fact that we just don't have enough GPs at the moment. So adding pressure to, onto them at the moment with sick notes mm -hmm. and asking that, that of them, I think Rishi Sunak is probably trying to kill two birds with one stone, take some of the pressure away from the NHS GPs and give to these specialists, however, we don't really know a whole lot about who these specialists will be. There's potential that it could be pharmacists, maybe. We saw that Rishi Sunak was really trying to give them more power recently, in recent months, to prescribe medication. So this could definitely fall into their remit. Uh, and just in terms of that, I mean, we're going to lose even more GPs. 8,800 are going to step down from their roles. And the GPs themselves are sick and tired of acting as social workers because, mm. of course, you can sign yourself off sick for seven days. Anything after that, you have to go to the GP. GPs are so pushed in terms of time anyway mm. People know they can't get an appointment, so I think they would welcome an external outside body actually having some sort of say in this. I'm sure they definitely would. The issue that I, I think Rishi Sunak and the government will face with this is that lots of people will just ask, are these specialists qualified to actually be deeming people un, unfit to work? Also, the other thing is, and this is something that Rishi Sunak has made very clear that he is against, is he wants to just lower the amount of people on benefits full stop. So will this transition to making specialists write sick notes actually reduce the amount of people not going to work because they're sick, that's really up for debate at the moment. We'll have to wait and see whether that's effective. Ultimately, it's a sticking plaster, isn't it? It's not looking at the causes of the problem or getting to the roots of it whatsoever. Definitely not. And, and Rishi Sunak has got a difficult task in trying to reduce the amount of people on benefits because clearly there are lots of people who do need them, but something that the Conservative Party are really, really keen on tackling is the amount of people who uh, are claiming them when potentially mm. they probably don't need to. It is quite a small figure, but it's something that Rishi Sunak sees as quite an easy political, political game.